The Sacramento Kings have not made the playoffs since the 2005-2006 NBA season. And that's a very ter that's a very terrible thing, man. They haven't made the playoffs in 15 years. The reason you see me wearing my uh, shades is because we're going to try hard mode, man. This is GM mode where we go try hard and we have to go out and try to get as many people as possible with these shades on, man. We're trying to win these NBA finals, man. And if you're new to the channel, guys, leave a like, comment down below what rebuilds y'all want to see, man. And the Sacramento Kings have not made the playoffs in pretty much almost a whole, I mean, 15 years, man. That's that's outrageous, man. They have so much talent. Like, on, they have talent on this Sacramento team that they have today. And they just haven't been able to put it together yet. So we're going to try to get this team to the NBA playoffs. They've had people like DeMarcus Cousins and all this. But I'm starting to lose faith, man. Like, this team, I don't know if this is the answer, man. You got De'Aaron Fox. You got Marvin Bagley, Buddy Heald, Bogdanovich, Harrison Barnes, Rashawn Holmes, Jabari Parker, <clears throat> Harry Giles. So it's not that good, but it still has, like, talent. You got De'Aaron Fox, Marvin Bagley, and Buddy Heald. They did have a... Uh, they did sign Dwayne Demon, but I think they traded him because he wasn't producing. But, like I said, man, if you're new to the channel, leave a like, comment down below. Rebels, y'all want to see, subscribe. We're in this, man. We're in this for the long run. Um, it's very sad to see this team how they are. I do want to try to get them to win a chip. I am going to make Marvin back at the power forward. Uh, I do want to get rid of Harrison Barnes. He just hasn't really been that good of a fit. And I, I don't know why they gave him an extension. Like, they gave him an extension, which I, I mean, he's good for them. But $22 million is way too much for a Harrison Barnes. We do need a center on this team. And a center that's very cheap. I mean, we could go for Audrey Drummond, but I always get him. I do want to go after uh, Bobo, but you can't go after him right now. So uh, another center that I really do like is um, if we go to propose trade and throw in Harrison Barnes. I'm pretty sure we can afford him, but I don't know if they'll actually do a trade. Like, is he untouchable? I know they want to do a straight up for him, but I wonder if he's untouchable or not. If we throw in Jabari Parker and just take a player, just I just want to see if he's untouchable. Yeah, they consider him untouchable. Um, another center that I really would like to go after uh, is he plays for the Portland Trail Blazers, and you already know I, I am a Nurkic fan. We could try Nurkic. DeAndre Ayton's cool. There's not really that many good centers in today's NBA. Miles Turner's all right. You could go for Kristaps. I haven't got Kristaps in a while, but it's just like the same centers. I don't really go after Bam Adebayo actually. Why don't we try Bam Adebayo? And the Heat would acquire 15 million, so we can't even throw in Harrison Barnes. You would have to throw in like someone that's making relatively no money. Like a Rashawn Holmes. And then we throw, uh, I kind of don't want to give up our first round pick this year because I don't know how good we'll do. But if it gets us bam out of bio, I wouldn't be too mad about it. If we throw in a couple seconds and one more second, I really feel like this is a lot for bam out of bio. And they don't want to do it. Do I have one more first to throw? We do. I mean, yeah, they're not going to do that. If I go to Trey Finder for bam out of bio, I could see what we could get, but at the same time, I just, I, you really don't know what they're gonna offer. Probably no trade offers, yeah. I haven't really gone after, uh, what's his name that much? I don't really go after uh, the guy in, uh, I forgot his name. Cat, uh, yeah. I don't know how I forgot Cat's name. I guess we really can't go after him. Steven Adams is not really that good. Like I said, there's not many that many good centers. So let's just try to go after Nurkic, see if, what they want for Nurkic, man. Nurkic wouldn't be too bad right now. And nothing for Nurkic, really? Let me, let's propose a trade real quick. Because Nurkic only makes 14 million too, man. It's not, it's, it's like we can't afford him. So if we do Nurkic and uh, throw in Rashawn Holmes, the Kings would acquire 7 million. So we'll throw him um, also this guy. And then we gotta just take someone not making any money, like Adams. And of course, it's always something, man. If we throw him, um, Kent Bazemore makes 19 million. I forgot about that. We throw him Alex Lynn and then just straight up take this guy. They gave us a counter offer. Yeah, they want a second round pick in Corey Brewer for Caleb Swanigan. Okay, so we get our center, man. And pretty much for the first season, man, I am going to be trying to, uh, this team isn't too bad actually for like the beginning. But they should make the playoffs. I do want to see if I can get a different spot forward still for Harrison Barnes. So if I throw HB up there and uh, our first round pick this year, because I'm tired of drafting. I like drafting, but the players are just like, you know, they're there, but they're not that. 
they're like OP kind of players in the draft. I could get Kevin Love, which really would make no sense. So I'm gonna to try to find a trade. If you don't see a trade, you'll see me at the end of the season. And if I find a trade, you'll see the trade, of course. So this team has been pretty trash, man. Like, we ain't won anything. We can't win, man. There's nothing you can do with this team. Here's the stats, man. I mean, the awards. We won 36 and 46. Well, what are we gonna do, man? Looks like it's time to go get us a center for this team. And uh, I'll show you the stats, man. The stats aren't really too good as we didn't do shit we had 20 points and seven assists we had 15 and that was it man marvin bagley Nurkic was really kind of a disappointment harrison barnes definitely a disappointment 23 million starting minutes the dude got starting minutes and uh that's what he puts up how many minutes was he playing like where's his minutes per game i don't even know the dude was playing like 30 minutes a night. Um, minutes, 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 minutes. His plus minus was terrible. I can't even see his minutes. Whatever. Just know Harrison Barnes is definitely leaving this team. The goal for this offseason is to go out and get someone to come to Sacramento. Does anybody want to come to Sacramento? Probably not. This team has just not been good since... The days with Mike Bibby, Chris Weber, and Paige Stryakovich. Like, uh, that team was good, man. But they haven't made the playoffs since 05, like I said at the beginning of the video. This team is pretty doo doo. Besides De'Aaron Fox, man, everyone could get traded, and Marvin Bagley. Those two are staying put. Everyone else can go. Like, Buddy Hill, he's good, but he's not. He, if he comes off the bench, I'll keep him. Like, we gotta find some players that can start. And I kind of want to bring one of these guys off the bench. My goal is to have both of these guys at power forward. Because he goes to 88. And he's like our highest rated player now. So Bagley might be coming off the bench for us. If we head to at the NBA draft, we do have our pick. And I'm probably going to look to trade that pick along with Harrison Barnes. Maybe we could get something. So if we simp to our pick. Do we not have our pick? Do we have the first pick? The Sacramento. We have the first pick. Wow. Apparently we were gifted with the first pick. Uh, where is Harrison Barnes? Give me Harrison Barnes. This first pick. What can we get? Because we even have the 15th pick. Oh, that's the second round. We can get some bonus in TJ Warren. That's what I'm talking about, man. Devin Booker. That's the only two trades there is. Is there a way to get Cat, man? I kind of want to go get Cat. I haven't got Cat in any of my rebuilds. If we could do... Harrison Barnes and this pick. And I'll even throw you Buddy Heel, man. And then do this first and this first. We just got Carl Anthony Towns, man. We just got Carl Anthony Towns. <laughs> Let's go, man. We just we just won this rebuild. I'm hyped, man. We just got Carl Anthony Towns. Did I overpay? Definitely. Is it worth it? Definitely. You get your star player, man. So now... We have Carl Anthony Towns. Marvin Bagley's probably coming off the bench, like I said. I'm pretty excited about this rebuild. This is the first time I actually got a good center to trade for. And let's head for agency, man. We did get rid of two big contracts, so we should have some cap space to maybe get one more player for this team. If we head to a uh, trade finder, do I still have what's his name on the books? We don't. I definitely want to move Corey Joseph's contract and whoever this guy is, Justin James, have no idea who he is. Pretty excited about this rebuild now, guys. Um, if we could get someone cheap, um, I'll take it. But if not, I'll take two picks. Daniel Gafford could be a good backup center. So I'll take Daniel Gafford. And let's head to free agency and see how much cap we have. If we can get like a shooting guard at some point, like some type of shooting guard, like a Paul George, um, we could actually afford him. Kai for Kawhi's not here. That's like a first. I've never seen Kawhi. We do got to bring back Darren Fox, though. Um, Bam out of bio. I mean, Rudy Gobert, we don't need a center. If you just get Giannis, it's GG's, man. GG's. I might go for Giannis, just for shits and giggles, I guess. De'Aaron Fox doesn't have an offer yet, so we'll see if we get Giannis and we don't. So, I don't want to re-announce De'Aaron Fox, right? So, I hope they don't do that. Giannis went to the Lakers, man. So, is there a possible way I can get Anthony Davis? I did just get him in my last video, but if I can get Anthony Davis and somewhat 
have Anthony Davis and Cat. Like, GG's, man. And if I do get him, it'll probably be the last time. We didn't get him. He went to the Clippers, so they, he just switched teams to the Clippers, man. And pretty much there's no one else here. Like, John Collins. I mean, no. Jason Tatum. Who knows, but they match it. We don't have enough. We gotta bring De'Aaron Fox back. No one's offering him yet, though. I might go for Drummond and then trade Drummond. See what we can get for Drummond. I just gotta get someone to trade, man. We gotta, we gotta get something, man. You know? That should be good enough to get Drummond. And we do get Drummond. I don't want to re-announce his rights. Why would they re-announce De'Aaron... Yeah, let's re-announce De'Aaron Fox's rights, but not Jabari Parker's. Like, this game is so dumb, man. Um, We could re-announce these guys, too. We got to make sure that What's-His-Face does not get a deal. De'Aaron Fox, he got seven offers now. Wow. So we just got to offer him to make sure he doesn't accept it. Paul George came back. Of course. I guess I'll match it. Whatever. Because we already got Drummond anyway. So we do bring back, uh, what's his name? So this team's not bad, man. Like, honestly, we could have a two-headed monster that's coming off the bench. Like, Marvin Bagley and Drummond coming off the bench, man. That's not too bad at all. I might look to trade Drummond, though, like I said. This team is really stacked, man. Like, I'm pretty excited about this rebuild. The big man rebuild. I got to think of a title for this rebuild, too, man. I don't even know what a title to give it. <sighs> Sacramento's best squad ever. Or Sacramento should do this this offseason. I don't even know, man. I suck at coming up with titles. Nurkic went up to a 90 overall. Damn. Cat went down to an 89. Darren Fox went up. Marvin Bagley went up. Everybody went up, man. We got so many big men. Y'all could call this team the Jidel team. I, mean, I know Jidel likes a uh, big man. Apparently, someone made a joke about that. It's pretty funny, man. But as, as this team goes, man, I think we should win a championship this second season. I'm pretty sure we should, man. Let's see. Let's hurry up and get there. And right now, we do have Cat. And if I make Cat a power forward, what does he go to? A 92? I'm not going to do that. But I want to see what we can get for Drummond because we don't have any shooting guards at the moment. Like, our team is full of scrubs besides big men. So if I could trade Drummond and this first, could I, I need to get some type of shooting guard or small forward. Buddy Hill back. Like, see, Pascal Siakam. I could move him to small forward. TJ Warren and Sabonis seems like the best offer to take because you get two for one. Or it could go Jalen Brown, but Colin Sexton and Kevin Love and then flip Kevin Love. Uh, I think I want to go with the Sabonis and Warren deal because you get your small forward and then you could also flip Sabonis. So you get your small forward and now we need a shooting guard. We kind of need some bench pieces too, man. So if we flip him this first and a second, Maybe we can get something. I need a shooting guard. Josh Richardson. Oh, man. Is the bonus trade value really this bad? Malcolm Brogdon might be the best offer. Bowl Bowl's here. I like Bowl Bowl, man. Dude progress is so good in 2K. But we need a shooting guard. Tyler Harrow wouldn't be a bad option. Jaron Jackson Jr. Like, there's so many good big men they offer. Zach Levine, actually. I haven't got Zach Levine in a while. Yeah, let's go with Zach Levine. And this team ain't looking too bad now, man. You have... Darren Fox, Zach Levine, TJ Warren, Nurkic, and Carl Anthony Towns with Marvin Bagley, Hutchinson, Gafford, and oh no, no, this bench is terrible. They want to run 11 man rotation. We're running nine, man. No way we're running 11. Corey Brewer is someone I really do not want to get any PT. We can't afford him. I already know we can't. Can we afford Korkmaz? Um, he declined that. We have 5 million, so Alex Caruso's here. Why not get the GOAT Caruso? We'll get the GOAT Caruso, man. And uh, he'll be the ninth man. So that's not too bad, man. So, yeah, man. This team don't look too bad. I mean, we could use another high overall off the bench. If I kind of want to win this now. So if I trade Hutchinson and I don't have any more first. If I do two seconds, could we just get like something close to a 79, 80? Matisse Thibault is perfect, man. Uh, but if there's anyone else, if there's no one else, Matisse Seibel would be uh, perfect for this rebuild. And yeah, man, we'll go with Matisse Seibel. He goes up when you make him a small forward. So if we go to Matisse Seibel, he could be the backup shooting guard too, but you make him a small forward, he hits the 80 overall. So now it's De'Aaron Fox, Zach Levine, TJ Warren, Nurkic, and Carl Anthony Towns with Bagley, Seibel, Caruso, and Gaffer coming off the bench. I feel like we should win a chip, man, and uh, I'll see you at the end of the season. So we made it to the end of the season and we did go 56 and 26. 
Here's all the stats, man. Bobo got six man. Defense goes to Giannis. Zion got most improved. Frank Vogel got coach of the year. Um, nothing really too major happened. I mean, we didn't really get anybody on any teams. If we go to the NBA second team, we did get De'Aaron Fox. Other than that, nothing really, like I said. We did get the uh, second seed down here. It's kind of, y'all can see right there. If we look at the player stats, I think Catalyst in scoring, but it was actually De'Aaron Fox who had 24 and nine for us. Then it was Zach Levine, Carl Anthony Towns. I did make him a power forward, so he would go up to a 92. They, they ended up switching it. They put Nurkic at center. So Nurkic played center and he averaged 12 boards and 13 points. Almost a uh, block and a half a game. We averaged a lot of blocks, one, two, three. We averaged about three blocks a game almost, maybe four. And then Bagley had 15 and a half off the bench for us. TJ Warren did good too. So I feel like we should go out and win a championship here, but knowing 2K, we might even get bounced in the first round by the Thunder. We are up 1-0 on the OKC, 2-0, 3-0. Are we gonna sweep them, man? And we end up sweeping OKC, which is really good on us, man. We finally get out of the first round without having any problems. I don't know if y'all can see that. I think y'all can. So, Shea Gilgis had uh, 22, 7, and 6, but Zach Levine had 28, 5, and 4. TJ Warren had 20. Nurkic had 20 and 23. Damn. But we are taking on the Clippers, who, honestly, they should take probably a game or two. They took game they took a game on us, and we end up being the Clippers. Like, this team is too stacked, man, for us to lose. I, if I feel like we lose, it's BS by 2K. So, the Clippers end up taking one game. Kawhi dropped 44 on us and Anthony Davis. Like they just don't have anything to match the big man. We like we got Carl Anthony Towns, Marvin Bagley, Nurkic. Like that, those are three-headed monsters are too much for teams. We are taking on the Lakers, who we are one-one, two-one Lakers. Are you serious, man? Like, come on, man. Like I said, this is some BS, man. Like, yeah, they got Giannis, and that's it, man. Like, wow, wow, two K, wow, wow. This game is some trash, man. That's gonna be it in the video, guys. Uh, I did just want to, we are just gonna be doing two seasons with this team. That kind of sucks. I feel like we should've won a championship with this team. But the Nets hopefully beat the Lakers to make us feel better, and they do, thank God, man. But that is gonna be it in the video, guys. Comment down below what y'all thought of this rebuild, and uh, comment down also what rebuilds y'all do wanna see. Leave a like if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.